Well, what does all that mean? Tennessee Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn, Vice Chair of the Energy and Commerce Committee, a member of the Trump transition team back home in Tennessee. And thank you for coming back here. Um, what, what does that mean? It means he wants to open up access to affordable health care. A cross-state line purchase of health insurance, my legislation, association health plans, health savings accounts, and let's let the states take the lead in delivering Medicaid services for the constituents and the citizens in their states. Okay, so again, insurance for everybody is what he's quoted as saying. I don't want single payer. He's also quoted as saying, mm -hmm. I mean, do those right. two, do, do they stand together or are those, are those two different ideas? Uh, no, I think that what you have is two different ideas, Bill, because uh, insurance for everybody does not mean that you have to have single payer or government control. We've tried that. We know it doesn't work. Let's go back to the patient-centered private sector model, and let's look at how we get those costs down. When you look at Medicaid delivery, why don't we look at health savings accounts and give individuals that ownership and allow them to take the responsibility for their health care? And there is a way to do this. You know, I think one other thing we have to look at in this entire discussion is making certain that we make our providers whole, our doctors and our hospitals, because one of the problems with some of the Medicaid programs and some of these Obamacare exchanges is they don't pay the doctors enough to deliver the service. So uh, that's another component that needs to be on the table and needs to be corrected. Well, Chuck Schumer is already saying you can forget about Democratic support if you do not do the following. Cover as many people as were covered under the uh, Affordable Care Act. Um, bring the health care costs down so long as it doesn't <laughs> move the health care system backward. That was his quote. Um, I, I, would, I would take from that that the battle lines are now being drawn. Are they? Yeah, yeah, you know, and the petty childish nature of Senator Schumer's remarks are, are disappointing, and I do not think they do a service to his office. Let's dissect the Obamacare numbers. If you look at 20 million people, you've got 12 million of those that are in the expanded Medicaid. So set that number aside. Go in and look at the 8 to 9 million that are in the Obamacare exchanges. Only 2 million of those buy that product without a subsidy. So that leaves you the balance buying the product only with a subsidy. Therefore, you've got a product too expensive to afford and too expensive to use. So that is why there have to be other options, private sector-centered, patient-centered, and let's open up the health care marketplace so that you and your family can buy whatever you want that fits your needs from whomever you want okay. from he, wherever in the country. He also talked about putting pressure on pharmaceutical companies that he believes are spiking their drug sure. prices. So now, um, President Obama was asked about this last night, about the, um, perhaps, I think the, the way the question was phrased about the bigger mistakes over the past eight years. Uh, this is one he pointed to. Just listen here now. If you know you got a controversial program and you're setting up a really big complicated website, website better work on the first day or first week or first month. The fact that it didn't obviously uh, lost a little momentum, mm -hmm. <laughs> that was clearly a management failure. Um, Will your website work on day mm -hmm. one? Uh, the private sector will make certain that their websites are working, I have no doubt. And more important than that, I think you're going to have individuals in your community that you can go walk in their office and say, I need to buy a health insurance plan. Tell me what you are offering. And that's going to be the difference. People can get on the web, they can search for what they want, they can drive down the street, they can find somebody it will fit their needs. And the more people that are insured, the better. Uh, Pre-existing okay. conditions, working with high risk pools on that. There are ways to do this so that more people are in the process and you don't have the problem of people with insurance plans too expensive to use and then they're not paying the balance of you know their yeah. bills. They only pay the hospital or the doctor only gets what the insurance company pays and not the copay. Well, my sense is we're going to talk about this again. It's a I big think challenge. We probably will. It lies ahead, but thank you for your time today. Marsha Blackburn. Yes, we're up to it. At a Tennessee today. Thank you for your time. Thank you.